I am about to embark on a rescue mission. I have a truck that's sort of doing a perpetual somersaulting here. I reckon Ron Dennis would call that a perpetual unexpected change of orientation. Uh, we need to go and sort that out basically. We're very close thankfully. I've unlocked the garage here on the map called The Crossing. It's very similar to the river map. There does seem to be quite a heavily association between the maps but anyway we got problems over here. This one is sort of turning over and over and over and over and over into the sea and we're going to go and rescue it. I forgot to plop down a point there. There. Over here we can just sort of go down the coast and then that is sorted. So let's go ahead and make our way down in the big old lorry here. It's huge. Uh, this is the D535 and it's very much similar to a 737 from Boeing. Only this of course is made in Russia and is very much a land based vehicle. It only is quite mahusive and now we just have to ram our way through here. Because this is, well, quite frankly too big I think to actually squeeze through but I'm guessing it will just take it. Oh no, we can just squeeze through there, we made a gap. But I mean, if anything gets in the way of this, we'll just knock it down. It's like a tank, just a lot bigger than a tank. We just go over here, there's a first marker. The river in this does seem to be very tricky. First I got my little UAZ stuck there twice, yes. And then I got my big old vehicle stuck in there. So I'm reckoning I'll have to do the crossings using this as a sort of like a towie. So I attach everything to behind this and tow it across because it just does not seem to work at all if I do it properly. Like my first crossing point was here, I ended up being well, pretty much vertical, yeah that's the term, not horizontal. Those are opposite each other and you've got to remember which one's what, but no, it was vertical in the sea and I had to go and pull out the little UAZ as a result. And now we're actually at the coastline, yeah that's a problem isn't it? We can already clearly notice the problem from here in that it's currently on its side in the water and it's quite near the edge of the map and I don't know what happens if it actually reaches the edge of the map. Does it just stop? Is it like a wall or does it disappear into a void of nothingness that apparently exists in Russia? But I really shouldn't be surprised because, well, it's fucking Russia. But there's the UAZ which I pulled free. It was very similar to this, only, you know, smaller. I'll also reverse in. And, uh, well, oh shit, where do we want to do it? We probably want to attach it to the rear of the truck over there. Okay, yeah, see, this is a problem. Dangerous water level. Can we do it from here? I'm really just hoping that we can do it from here. No, it's just about not doing it. So, no, out of this. Dangerous water level. No, it's fine. It. No, it's fine. I just told you, game, it's fine. Yep, attach it there. Forward. No, 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 stop being damaged, stop being damaged, we're clear now, we're clear, right, come on, Paul, motherfucker, come on, Paul, we're in all-wheel drive mode, we're in low range one, I think we're pulling that other truck upside down, oh god, this isn't gone well, we're both disappearing now, apply the brakes, abandoned, not ship, but power now, power, 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 we need to clear out here before this gets stuck, if this is stuck, we are completely shafted. Come on, just get a grip here. Sort this, sort this, sort this into this. Into this. Oh my god, it's all damaged. Ah, uh, fucking Christ. But we know we've got engine power on the big old one here, so I'm hoping that I can drive this to about here, attach it and sort of winch it from here to you. Let's engage reverse. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You're being pulled in as well. No, 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 no. Come on, motherfucker. Just come on, your engine stalling. This is absolutely fucked. I think I've literally completely cocked this up massively. So we need to engage low range, get out of this. See, that one's disappearing now. But this one's actually driving a wee bit and we can hopefully... No, we are going to break this. Yeah, see, we broke it here. And then we can hopefully repair it using the trailer hitch. And we go out of it, and then we've got to try and drive out of it, but now it's getting dark, it's getting damaged. I mean, this is ridiculous! So let's see what happens here. We're now resting against this. Hang on, does that mean that I will eventually just get pushed over here to the shoreline? I think I'm actually getting pushed to the shoreline. We're taking a lot of damage here. But if we pop it into low range, right? Engage stiff lock. 
no, it's not really doing anything here. We're just sort of drifting sideways. But you know what? I'll take it. This is actually working well. This is probably what I have to do in order to complete this one. Because I think I'm actually out of the danger zone now. I'm just sort of being pushed against this invisible wall. I'm surprised you don't get teleported to the other side at some point. Like, it should just let you disappear in there and just appear at the other side so you just kept going perpetually because this seems a bit weird that you can sort of do this. It does feel a bit like exploitation, but I'll take it. And why did the engine die? Is it because I'm at such an acute angle or I have so much damage? I think it's the damage level here. So can we disengage this? Can we actually hook this up to a tree? No, we can't, but we can use a spare wheel here to repair some of the damage at least. So we're stuck here. We can't attach that. We can't attach that. We can't attach that to anything. But I mean, if we make it across, I'll take this as a success very much. We're being sort of forced up against this uh, dead end here. We'll ignore those no entry signs. That's just, you know, the massive no entry sign of Siberia. Don't know why Donald Trump hasn't thought of that. Maybe he should play this game. He could get some good immigration ideas. Just put that out of order. Nobody would enter this. Quite clearly seen here. Certainly it goes right into his logic. Anyway, this is not a political video. Let's not talk about that because it's all a bit depressive. Can we... Uh, no, still nowhere near... Hang on, why... Is there a toe point underneath the water? Has that been detached? I think it has, but certainly there was a point underneath the water. So, in case you're wondering, currents do seem to be a lot stronger in this like ridiculously a lot stronger i don't know how i'm gonna do this hang on is that another what's going on there in the middle dangerous water level yeah we know what's going on there is that another vi is that what is okay okay i'm gonna try and get this one out and then i'm gonna worry about what i'm seeing here but i'm, I'm not really driving am i like there's not anything going on can we winch onto anything no can we then use this to repair all of that? But now we have literally no repair left on this vehicle. But we're still drifting towards the shoreline, and I like that. Let's try winching once more. No, not close. You close, no. You close, no. And we appear to have stopped sort of. Is that another car over there, or is that a rock or something that sort of duck in? It feels like we're actually on ground somewhere. But... No, maybe we're not. Are we actually moving out here? I feel like a part of my problem here is that I'm actually going against the flow. And that never really works well. I mean, there's a word for that, isn't there? A play on words. That over there is... Oh my god, that's capsized now. Great. So, well, let's try and get this vehicle out first. We also need to be careful about our fuel use. So, I'll just... Hang on. Are we actually... Oh no, it's the wall that's moving. Oh, but we're getting traction here. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that confused me because I thought we were actually moving, but that's just a mixture of the current and the signs. But we are actually moving towards uh, the land over here. Can we actually get the winching point? Oh my god, you are so close. Out of here then. Let's see if we can't work this towards something. I'm trying to give it... There we go. Here we go. Oh my god. My voice is breaking once more because I've just done this. And that over there might actually be... Is that within our remit now to actually grab this one? This feels like I've exploited this game absolutely ridiculously much. But I will go ahead and I'll take it with a tin of beans. Onto this. Drive forward. Come here, we'll winch, 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 winch. Come on. Okay, now we're actually using up our fuel here and that's a major issue. So uh, let's try and pull out from this and we'll see where is there a... Oh god, there's absolutely nothing over here. There's a fuel station there. As I said, I have one lorry over on the other side down here, a fuel station. But it, I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. Like, I can try and be really clever and cool about this. Or at least sound like I'm trying to be, but I just genuinely have no idea what I'm supposed to do now. Uh, can we change into the big one? I'm surprised I managed to get this one. I mean, it's just completely submerged. Right, I think I worked out what's going on here. The blob I saw in the middle of the lake is the D truck. And then we have the UAZ, which got the back end sticking up over here. So at the moment, two of my four lorries are indeed stuck underwater. So what I might want to do is grab this over here. 
go back to uh, my garage, which is pretty simple up here. Probably grab a, yeah, probably grab a fuel cistern and drive, or well, probably around here and try and cross further up and try and make my way back down. Well, like fuel for that one. I mean, that really just seems like the best choice. But I do have to be very careful in this. I have nothing to get it free at the moment because the other lorry I have that I've got out obviously can't make it over here because it doesn't really have any fuel left. And if this is stuck, there's nothing on this side to get it out. So let's try and do this properly, shall we? At the very least, we'll have plenty of fuel on board and I think I'll be able to put at least a spare tyre or something so I have a little bit of repair equipment on it. Now, I also thought the big D truck had a crane attachment in the first bin tyre scan, which they removed presumably because it was a bit overpowered, which does make sense. Uh, I'm not going to claim playing clan pain, no complain about this game being harder, because really that's a good thing. But getting all of that stuck over there and having to work out how you get it out again is part of the joy of this. Uh, we are now into plus one. Which is a good thing. We've made it to the garage. We can see it here. Pop the fuel cistern on. And I have to decide whether or not I fill it up on this side or on the other side of the river. Because I don't know what's best. Presumably it's best to fill it up on this side of the river. Because the weight will sort of help me cross. Like it'll stand up to the current a bit better. But we've already seen how they did with the current. So I'm not really holding my hopes up high. Uh, I've also realised that I need to put on a fuel or fireproof exhaust, which I'm not pleased about because that's right at the front. But we'll come to a stop here. We will go out and we'll detach the lock carrier. No, remove you. Uh, fuel system is unavailable. Why is that unavailable? Is it because we got... No, let's clear that. Uh, what is... Why, oh, because I need to put on the fuel proof exhaust and then we put on the fuel system. Or do we want to go with a big one? No, we don't want to go with a big one. That's a stupid idea. Pop on a spare wheel as well, just in case. So we've got a bit of repair options over here. Now, of course, we can't fill up the system at the garage. So we need to go back to the fuel station. And then we need to make our way over to here via this road. And then we've got to try and assess if it is actually worth fair crossing here. I don't know if it'll actually work or if we need to go further up, but we'll make an assessment when we get to that point on the map. So here's our mighty, mighty rescue vehicle thundering in the Siberian outbag. Will we make it? Well, probably not, but it's worth a shot anyway. We haven't really made it that far. The garage is literally back there, but it looked really dramatic and that was really good for me. And we're still making a way towards the fuel filling up point. Uh, we can fill it up there. Up to 200 litres you can fill up at the garages. Anything above 200 litres, uh, and that includes every fuel tanker, yeah, has to be done at the fuel station. It's a lovely little bit of a gameplay choice that I quite like. Uh, much like I actually quite like now loading logs manually. I complained about that in the first video edit on Mud Runners, But it's actually quite fun now. I actually quite enjoy doing it when it works for me. Meaning when I do it properly, uh, more so. Uh, I've also gotten to the point where I've tried a couple more lorries, and that's quite nice. They've added in a couple more, they've refined it, just changed it about a bit, and that's nice. I think we're at the fuel point. We are indeed, because this is all a bit condensed down, so uh, you sort of get to everywhere a bit quicker. But it doesn't really matter when you get stuck in the middle of a fucking river, does it? So let's fill this bad boy up here with loads of fuel, about three, four hundred litres. We'll find out here in a second. So if it's a 36 litres, that's been filled up 900 litres, that is a lot. So 900 litres of fuel, that's a lot. Uh, more than I certainly will need, hopefully. I don't know about that. Well, certainly the lorry will take about, what, two or 300 litres? Uh, and then I don't know about the big boy. He might need some fuel as well. But we'll go out and we'll turn this around. Make our way out in the baby Ural, which is what this sort of is. If you look at it, it sort of does look like a baby Ural. Only it's not. And technically in the first map you didn't really have a proper Ural. You only unlock that a bit later on. But it's very nice anyway. Uh, where are we going? We're going this way. It's a lovely bit of ground over here. Let's just pop it into road gears. Which is um, automatic box. Yeah, automatic is where it changes it for you. You can't do the diff lock. You can do all wheel drive. And now we come to some mud. So let's go ahead and pop it into low range. Engage everything. We don't really need to be concerned about the fuel usage here because we have 900 litres of fuel on our back. 
so uh, we can burn however much we want. Uh, and if we get this across, we can always refill it at a fuel station over there. I'm going to try and cut this way, as it's, you know, keep to the right and that on the roads. We're not in England or one of their former colonies, so it's okay to drive on the right. And it went well, you sort of have to be careful, because sometimes you pick a route that you think will be good, uh, but it ended up being really boggy, and you end up getting stuck a lot. Yes, that has happened to me on more than one occasion, where I go, Ooh, I'll drive around this piece of muddy water, and then it just turns out it was a massive bog I went through, and then I'm sort of stuck. And can we negotiate this piece of water here? I don't think the exhaust actually matters in terms of our wading depth. That is the air intake that matters. You sort of just plop out exhaust fumes underwater anyway, so it doesn't matter. It's the air intake, which I don't know where it is. I'm guessing it's in the grill, though. So we don't really have any snorkels, but it didn't seem to matter on the uh, other one I had, the uh, normal lorry. Not one of the snub-nosed ones. The one that we got out had a snorkel on the roof. Well, that didn't seem to do anything, so I don't know. Can we go through this? I'm a bit sort of paranoid with this thing, even though it has been absolutely venerable in itself. Like, it just plowed through everything I've put it through so far. I've got it stuck once or twice, but never really to the point where I needed to bring another vehicle to tow it free. It's just powered right through all of the stuff I've thrown at it. And I've done a couple of loads of medium locks on this thing. It just drives right through it. You don't need anything more than this. It's a bit slow, I'll admit, but it will do the job just nicely. Although the Yule is admittedly a bit more fun to drive. Uh, but if you need to do this in the hard way, this is very good. And now we're getting to the tricky bits here. You can see just there the front tyres now. It's muddy waters. This is a big piece of mud we're in. And you need to be very careful because you may end up getting absolutely stuck. And we've got loads of weight on two wheels out of the back. Actually four wheels because there's two axles. And look at this angle that we were on here now. This is probably a bit dangerous, but we made it. Just a bit more throttle. I don't want to spin the tyres too much. If we spin the tyres, we just tear up the soil, which may come back to haunt us later on. I sort of did the third... Yeah, that would be the third map you do, uh, using the same roads, pretty much, between the lumber mills. And that was quite fun, because you ended up really tearing up parts of that stretch. Uh, so you really have to think about it later on. Uh, but now we're sort of getting stuckish here, right? Come on, power on, power on. Yep, through the boggy we went. And then we need to go this way, right? Let's pause and have a look, see? Yep, I'm going the right way. And then we'll make an assessment whether or not we want to cross here. We want to try and carry on further north. We only really get one shot at this, so we have to make it count. And I don't remember if I tried to cross here. I don't think I did. I only think I've tried to... Hang on, have we, no, we haven't even been to the coast here, so that's okay. Uh, but we need to be careful because the mud on the embankment are really soft. You'll just sink right in. Like, look at this here. We just absolutely... Yeah, this isn't right, is it? Come on, get stuck in. There we go. Just go through the mud. This is what it gets near the coast because the soil is absolutely saturated with water. So you go right through the lot, especially with a big old tank on the back, and especially when you press the wrong button. And look at that current already. Well, I need to be careful what I say, because this is YouTube, and regardless of what quality setting I choose, it'll get horribly compressed. But I'm hoping that you can certainly see how heavy this water is. But I'm going to try something different for once. I know I can do that. What I want to do here... So I want to go in, actually I want to reverse a bit here, because I want to go in down on the right hand most side. And then I'm going to drive into the current, as in steering to the left. So I'm constantly trying to sort of go against the current, which sort of will help with a bit of stability. But I have to do this right. This is our final shot, and I have hopes for this. Not high hopes, mind, but hopes nonetheless. I mean, they would have made it impossible to do. I'm hoping, I mean, oh god, oh lord Jesus, oh lord Jesus, oh lord Jesus, are we going to do this, are we going to do this, I am, am I, am I, am I, am, oh my word, oh my god, I can't believe I've done this, so we actually made it part one of our river crossing, that's impressive, can I just park here and just be happy? Well, I can't because my other lorry is... Can we actually see the lorry from here? 
do we have a line of sight it will be oh oh god i've got to work out how this works it's a bit weird no we can't it's much further downstream so yeah we cross over here hopefully we'll be able to cross but we'll just drift towards them anyway so here goes nothing actually here goes quite a lot of stuff i don't know if the current is harder over here or if the water gets deeper this is a good crossing point though so far so this is also valuable recce we're doing it's a multiple faceted operation that's good like the SAS or you know probably the special boat service no no that's not good can we we can dig it out good 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 power on power on come on power on power on come on come on come on don't get stuck here boy come on no that's not called it boy wouldn't like me calling it boy come on you good girl I believe in you come on you good old girl I believe in you you have done many hours of good work before I got you just carry on don't come on can we go up please surely we'll go up at some point soon come on come on are we moving forward we are moving forward I can see we're sort of lumbering slowly forwards oh my god we oh my god come on more power now all of the power come on just just go on girl go on go on son oh hang on that's a terrible thing to say to a girl come on yes <laughs> Oh yeah, here we go. Slightly firmer soil under our wheels. Uh, let's just pull up here over the crest and uh, have a look on the map and see where we are and what's going on and what we can do. Uh, I mean, we probably want to go up here to that watch point so we figure out what's going on on the map. And then we want to go over here. Have they... They've been... Silly. Please tell me there's... Ah, oh, see, there is a lumber mill over here and no lock kiosk on this side very cleverly designed i thought it was a bit weird that there would be a lumber mill over here on this side but that's just to get you started so uh let's try and make our way up to oh, hang on we'll go that way actually over here what a girl this is see you don't need the big ones they're completely unnecessary this will do the job for you it's good i love it very much this is my new favorite truck because it's just saved my bum and uh, hopefully it'll just carry on being brilliant all the more. Let's go out here. Oh, no, we got more water. I've been through some tiny streams of water. Oh, no, this is tarmac. This is actual heart-packed tarmac we have up ahead. How nice of them to do it. Yeah, this does have a strong resemblance to the river map from the first game. Or was it Two Rivers or whatever it was called? We, you've probably seen it. I think I may have done some videos on it. Pretty much the same thing happened, and uh, yeah, it, it it didn't end well for me, I think. Let's go over here, unlock this watch point, see what we have. We have a Kirovets here, and we've got another lorry over here. They're actually unlocked as well, aren't they? Yes, they are. And you've got four garage points. Oh, this is very interesting. So we may want to use a Kirovet to pull stuff out of the river. Oh my god, I didn't even know you got this. This is adorable. I like it, so this is... I've got a Kamaz! I've got a Kamaz, I'm very happy indeed. So we've got a fuel station there, but we want to grow into the... No, we don't want to grow into it, but we want to make our way over to the watch point. And then we want to go over there. I mean, we might as well do this now that we are over here. I don't know why we have that little larder or whatever it is, but it might be useful later on, who knows? I don't think it's great off-road, but I could be full. Come on, pull up, you good old girl. Thank you. That's the first time I've seen the Camas, by the way. I'm happy to see it, though. Very happy. It was my favourite truck in the first game, and it'll probably be the same here. We can go into road wheels. Not road wheels, but road gears. And make our way over here a bit quicker. Right, we probably have to think about going off-road here in a minute. As we are pretty much... Yeah, we're now going... Are we, we're sort of closing in. We can try and make a B line for the point, but I want to try and go further up the road to see if there will be a, basically a dirt path or something that leads off. As we... Oh, yeah. hello, there we go. See, this is what I wanted to find. So we'll turn in off the road here and take this path as close as we can. That way we don't have to fold our own path through the outback. Low range, all wheel drive engaged. I've got all of the fuel in the world on the back, so I don't need to be concerned about that and we have a tiny little fire extinguisher as well right next to the fuel tanker you know personally i would have put that out the front 
Uh, what way do we go here? We need to go over there. I want to try and cut around here, but that seems to have been a bit of a mistake. Oh no, I can cut back here. So it was a mistake that was easily fixable. Come in here. And although I should probably stress this, the maps do share some similarities with the first game, the actual quality is far higher. Like, they're absolutely gorgeous, these maps now. A big improvement from the first game. Let's unlock this point in C. And nothing. We have the garage there, so we could take the camas down there and uh, unlock that. And oh no! Oh god, that's a problem and a half, isn't it? So it's on a peninsula or little island or whatever you want to call it. Technically, it's a peninsula because the map ends, so it's sort of linked to the edge of the map. But we sort of close. That's a good point. We can just go via this road down there. And uh, let's try and do that. Hang on, we just go straight, actually. Straight up onto that road that we see ahead of us. And then we just follow that. So it's pretty easy. But we have to cross the dangerous river again. And this is actually deeper than we had before. No, it's not, because we were much deeper. But we got the warning. Where is the air intake, then? Is it just set at a set height for each lorry, or is it individual? I'm guessing the air intake is actually on the side of the bonnet there where we've got those gills certainly that's what i'm guessing is it on the yeah it probably is because there's one on either side and you'd probably want two because it's a big vehicle are we pulling through we are still going but it's not fast as i said this is not a fast vehicle but it will carry on nonetheless just a bit slower put up here i like that all of the fuel tanks are orange i think that's a very good thing that's a lovely touch, like a big warning sign in itself. Don't know if that's a thing in Russia. Really, I wouldn't expect them to care that much about safety in Russia, but maybe they do. Maybe it's one of those things where they just went, yep, everything that contains fuel must be orange, because it's a sign of danger. Let's turn off diff lock and all wheel drive as we go through this narrow little path. Yeah, again, it's absolutely gorgeous, this map design. And there's an achievement you can unlock if you run over pumpkins and uh, mushrooms. So uh, let's go ahead and run over as many of those as possible, because, you know, I'll take an achievement if it's there. But I'm not really going to go out of my way. Although I'm literally going out of my way to run them over. But, you you know, not literally, but figuratively in games. Ooh, where is it up here? It's over here. Now we're getting to the shoreline. It's worth a pun, in it? So let's set off here. Oh god! Oh god, this is steeper. Hopefully we won't go into like a massive hole. Oh, this feels worse. This feels worse. This feels like there's more current here. Okay, but we're climbing out of the deep end. Hopefully there won't be a massive cliff on the other side of this. And we'll make it to the peninsula. Okay. So we found a good crossing point, And that's really worth remembering. Um, we've also worked out that it's actually quite a decent thing that we got most of our vehicles over on this side. So let's see, is it? It's sitting down there. So I can go ahead and I can drive that to. Well, actually, I can try and bring this. Up. No, actually, I don't want to do that because everything has to come this way anyway. So I don't want to drive down there too much. Uh, moreover, I don't want to bring every vehicle I have down here because what's the point in that? This is. Oh, we still have a few repair points, so that's good. We engage everything here and we'll just try and drive... Okay, nope, wrong thing. Let's have, I want to control the camera. Maybe if I go inland, uh, so I don't drive on all of these bloody rocks. Oh, that was a bus outside. Oh, tree. Reverse it. This is one of the new trucks in the game. Certainly I don't remember it from the first one. It's sort of a Kamaz that's sort of like off-roady. Which is a good thing, but I quite like the other one, if I'm honest like the orange one because it doesn't look like it's meant to be here i mean i just want to take the biggest locks on the smallest truck and least suitable that's just my joy in this and i'm sort of disappointed you can't do long locks on the small truck but we made it here to the fuel cistern so stop here go into low one and then we can change to this one where we have to do the fuel filling cross low 260 liters change it back into this and uh, now we just have to try and see we can't pull out the other ones. Or do we, actually? That's the thing. Well, we can try and give it one punt. And if that doesn't work, we'll try. Well, actually, let's do the safe thing. Unlock a garage over on this side so we have means of repairing vehicles. 
on the mainland on both sides should we get our equipment out and uh, once that's done we can try and play around with the key rivets and see if we can't pull out the two vehicles we have stuck in the water and now I'm getting dragged into the water so let's go away in here admittingly reversing was a bit of a daft move for me but it was worth a shot I mean it's a really good one this it'll just like power through it unless you know you submerged it and see it's got that little snorkel on the back but that's not where the air intake is according to the game which is a bit weird but whatever oh you don't know it's probably a gameplay decision because you know it will be a bit overpowered if you just let the air intake at the very top yeah, I can see that being a argument uh, but then again it's a simulator-ish thing so it probably should try and do things as accurately as possible but hey whatever it's not American Truck Simulator which we heard will have New Mexico next week Thursday oh I'm excited with the stuff we've seen in the open beta so far I won't talk too much about it but my god if you haven't checked that out I recommend that at the very least you read about it because oh my god it'll be good and then I'm guessing a couple of weeks after that we will see Italy and then we'll see the new scan here I'm guessing I don't think they've confirmed it but uh, it sort of implied with the advertisement and that that the new scan here will be coming alongside Italia which I am beyond excited for like really excited for that I am looking tremendously forward to it anyway can we winch from this point no we can't wait to go a bit further out so for what we don't want to go too far into this absolutely wild current attach you here get you into reverse come on pull 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 you're pulling you're pulling are you pulling so clearly because yeah you're not attached are you no you're not so pull in here let's try it once more a bit closer then shall we close your stop you to that but now it is attached right you why does it not want to attach? Yeah, I reckon the big truck's just fucked because I can't actually pull it out. The winching does not work. The only way I really could do it was bring the Kirovets down here then. And that seems to be a gamble and a half because I need that to load my logs. But I mean, if I can get this out here, if I can get the B lorry down here, I can probably get that one down here as well. Okay, let's pull ourselves out of here. Let's leave this one. We'll come back to that with the key rivets. And we'll get this one over onto the mainland. And then we will bring over the B truck. Actually, the B truck might have to go over first, depending on how it's parked. What am I hitting? A tree. Fair enough, I'll say. Can we just clear it? Yeah, we can clear it because there's no collision on the mirrors. So we're going to have to probably just forge our way through the forest. Because uh, apparently going inland wasn't really a smart and sensible idea as I thought it was. Although here is a sort of a path that we can forge. We'll just knock over all the smaller trees. Now that's a big pine. We can't knock that one over, can we? So reverse back here and then uh, forwards, please. And then over here through a gap that can probably forge. That looks like a smaller tree, right? Coming through, coming through, coming through. Yep, thank you. Don't know why I bother telling them that. They're trees. They're not going to listen to me. Over here we go. This is a better coastline to drive on anyway. So we've actually undercut the B truck which is parked up here. As soon as we get this over to the mainland, I'll go ahead and change into the orange camas. And then we'll drive to the garage, unlock that. And then I will see what state the Kirovet is in. And we will then pretty much go from there. So engage diff lock or we'll drive low range. And we commence crossing. Let's make this a good one. I know you've got bad experiences. Good old green military... Okay, that's my fault. See, this is why we're crossing this. We can go into plus here. No, we can't because we're stalling. I mean, fair enough. You can cross. You crossed, actually. See? Second part was piss easy. First part, not so much. Can we stop spinning the tyres, please? Thank you. Up we go. It's not that we plan on using this again. I just want to be sure that we can get everybody else through this way. So if we park over here, we have enough room to bring over the B. See, there was the achievement I talked about. So the B truck is here. We engage reverse with you. Disengage the parking brake. Cut the back end over here so we can do a well, probably a three-point turn this will be. 
Then we'll pull over here. See, this is easy. This is going well. First part of the rescue plan, I'll admit, it didn't go well. In fact, it went the opposite of where we literally made the problem worse. We didn't improve on it, we just made it worse. But the second part so far has been going extremely well. We rescued one truck, we filled up set truck, and now we're getting everything back on fast soil. Not fast soil, solid ground, that's probably the word. The difficult thing about being multilingual is you have to figure out what all of the languages is right to use at which point. And we then climb up here, we're spinning the front tyres a wee bit, but we want to be careful. Up to the side. We just have to knock over these trees. I mean, it's not the worst thing we've done in this game. I think all of this EO2 we've emitted. So what's this thing? I mean, I'll drive it over to the cameras. What is the point of having this little larder? Sort of looks a bit like a Fiat, but I know they used the Fiat as a base for the larder, so I don't know. Also, don't know why you would have low range gears on this, but apparently you do. So here's the camas. We'll go out and we'll park to the side. Orange beast it is. Uh, what do we do here? Well, we fire up the quattro. Probably a bit more than a quattro. Reverse, release the parking brake. Oh, the bastards have removed any kind of diff lock and all wheel drive from it. Bastards, bastards. Well, that means a green one would be my preferred choice in this then. So let's re oh, and this is a different kind of... No, no, it's not. I just thought we had bogeys, but we don't. This is a regular trailer. So let's reverse over here. I'm going to clip the curbing, which is a really shameful of me. Although I'm not. I'm clipping it with a cap, but I'm going to chalk that up to using a controller rather than a wheel. And then we're going far wide here. I mean, I'm not pleased with this. That's a trucking sim enthusiast, but it'll have to do. I sort of pushed it round more than I actually turned with it. Out of this view then. So where we want to go is from here to the garage. We'll follow the road around and then it'll come to us at some point. So we're going down in auto and then we'll cruise on the road. This old beast has nine gears and what a beast it is. I've damaged it there because I've cocked that up a bit. And now it's going to cough and splutter because I was trying to be cool rather than, you know... Sensible. I've got a cool camera angle out of it. I just damaged the truck a bit. And by a bit, I mean it's now farting out fire. But, you know, you win some, you lose some, right? We'll just go ahead and ignore the massively, massively, massively unsafe trailer. I mean, just plop down a container on the back of a drop side. That's not unsafe in the slightest, is it? Probably not in Russia, but it wouldn't work anywhere else in the world. Can we actually pull this in? I know you have absolutely no diff lock or anything, which I think is technically incorrect. Certainly from uh, the likes of European lorries, I think most of them have diff locks, actually. Uh, yeah, there we go. We are sort of in here now. Can we unload? Can you then care what can we put on you? What can we put on the back of you? Can you... You can only take a medium lock cart. I want a long lock cart, please. Lock crane carriage, what is this? Oh, it's for short locks so you can manually load it. That's nice. Why can't you put long locks on this? I want to put long locks on. Anyway, uh, we want to go then go to the key rivets. The venerable key rivets. We can also fill that up with fuel later on. Go into the loader, rate it up, actually collapse it so it doesn't take up as much of the screen. Sort this out. Uh, release this, and then we go well, pretty much the opposite way. We can go here, here, here here and then we need to go well we need to go road can we cross probably we can cross here and then there oh cocking bastard that is absolutely no good so we want to go well, pretty much all the way around on the road side actually disregard this route this is a terrible route and we want to go to the road because we can then unlock a watch point over here we can then go to the garage and then we can make our way over that way. Oh, it's in here. Oh my god, yeah, this is absolutely unsuitable for this. But I'm here, so I have to do it. I'll also have to reverse out of this mess. And then we line up here. We've got to try and get our way through this problem, which is nearly impossible in this. As it's so bloody huge. Forward gear. Nope, doesn't want to. 
uh, maybe we can try and go around and try and scout out a different approach. But this does seem to be borderline impossible to do with this. Come on, reverse out of this. Look at all that CO2 we are emitting. There we go, it's a bit rough, but you know, but crash into a rock. That's better. No, it's not, because I need to remember that this sort of steers like a joint in the middle. So we'll turn it like this, that way we can actually get the full articulate movement. Yeah, see, this is a lot better. This actually looks like a road leading into the discovery point. Yep, see, there it is. And there we go. Unlocked anything here? No, nothing. Oh, we got another bee parked over here. That's lovely. It's the same as the one we have down there. So we'll make our way to the garage. What's the quickest way? We're probably actually disregarding this point and moving that over here. Oh, we'll power through you. No drama. Oh dear, I've just seen some stuff over here. If we turn this knob and we turn that one there, so that'll probably... Sorry if the audio has been a bit awful for the first much of this video. I just realised me knobs were a bit twiddled in the wrong way. Hopefully it's a bit better now. Sorry if I was a bit peaky on the audio. Most of you probably don't know what that is, but that's great for me. We'll go in here, right? Yeah, this is about right. And then we will go past the house. So we'll say Privyet to the people who live here. Hello, Privyet. Uh, they know what I meant with that. Oh, pumpkins, that's another achievement. Sorry, I'm driving through your pumpkin patch. Squishy, squishy, squishy. Halloween, say we're bitches. I won't go through the bother of finding a fuel station and fill it up before we set off as we have the fuel system on the B truck. We'll just fill it up when we get to the coast. Seems like a brilliant idea. That way we have enough fuel to do a lot of work when we get there. Where are we going here? We are going right. And then we are sticking on this path. I'm going to probably regret driving on this. Well, probably not because it is it? No. There's absolutely nothing over here that we'd need to go to anyway. And uh, I do like to just choose one lumber mill, or rather one uh, logging kiosk, and just use that rather than use the different ones. Yeah, I'd rather use one lock kiosk than go to the different ones, mostly because I use the Kirovets here to load myself, and there's just a bit of work involved in moving it, and there's no point really if you can just use the same logging kiosk. So now at the very least we're testing out its wading ability here, and yeah, it's pretty good. We need to be careful here though, because I'm not really concerned about that. I'm more concerned about tipping over. Oh no, we made it through. And now we're sort of hugging the shoreline, burning ridiculous amounts of fuel. Let's go into plus one. There they are. So we're now at the coast. We can probably also rip... Oh, we don't need to repair this. This has taken no damage. But we will need to fill it up because we've used a lot of fuel. Turn off all-wheel drive just for the moment. So stop you here. Will you automatically fill? No, you won't because we'll need to change to this. And then we need to go into advanced, the fuel system, and fill up that one there. That one's been filled up now. There's only 494 litres left, but that's more than enough, I think. Release everything here, low range. Pop on the headlamps. We'll try and cross into the middle here and see if we can't do some magic. Oh, boy. Come on. Big girl, you can do this. I believe in you. You're a big yellow Kirovet. This is a walk in the park for you. This is what you do for breakfast. Yeah, it is what you do for breakfast, Christ. So there they are, the D truck and the UAZ. The UAZ is not really a important issue for me. I can just recall that. Uh, but the big one could be vital for me. Or at least not as just a towing vehicle. I don't really want to move this about too much. I want this to be stationed at our lumber mill. Can we nip this over here, perhaps? Come on. I mean, you're quite happy sitting here, aren't you? Will you winch this one? Are we winching now? No. So, to sum up the situation out here, that is just fuck now, the D lorry. I can't get this out. Although I suppose that I could try and ram it out. Uh, but I'm not really too keen on that. Can I winch out the A truck? Are we close enough for that? Yeah, okay, so that... Why can't I winch out the other one? 
Oh, has that one broken now? So if it's 100% damaged, you can't winch it out, which makes no sense if you ask me, but whatever. No, yeah, apparently if you have vehicles that are damaged 100%, you can't winch them out. Uh, can I? This is a stupid idea. Release this, lower it down, just grab onto this and just sort of pull it out, I suppose. See if we do this. Oh, it doesn't really grab onto it, does it? So we clipped onto it here, but I don't think we actually clipped onto it. I think we're just going to... Oh, have we actually clipped onto it now? No, no, we haven't. Maybe if we use the fuel tank. Winch connected? Come on, come on. I did it. I actually got a winching point on it. I just need you to pull yourself out. Can you pull yourself out? Come on, big girl. Come on, big girl. Oh, yes, we're actually doing it. Oh, you are beautiful, Key Rivets. Okay, you pulled yourself out there. I don't think you actually attached the winch. So let's try and do another quick winch. Maybe that'll... Hang on, actually, before we do that, I will raise up my loader. Right, then it's back to trying grabbing onto the fuel tank. Don't try this at home, kids. It's a terribly stupid idea, but this is a video game, so it might actually work. Oh, have we just caught ourselves onto the do not enter wall. It's a bit disorienting without moving in that. Just I don't know what's actually going on. Well, have I got myself stuck on something here? Okay, this is getting really perilous even for the key rivets. Uh, let's run to load up. We may want to lower it down. Oh, you didn't even grab onto anything here. It's incredibly disorienting with that sign, so let's try and change over into a different camera mode. Are we at a point where we can actually... This is absolutely no good. So release you. This is a terrible camera mode and it changes when I go into... See, it just zooms back out. I don't need you to zoom. I just need you to stay where you are, right? So lower you down, right? If I tilt you forwards here, right? No, you just grab onto the wrong bit, don't you? I've had another idea that might actually work. If I release this... Right, and I tilt this this way, and I reverse, I lift up the lorry over here, hopefully I can reverse now. And I win forward, so we need to go into reverse. Oh, am I stuck here now with this? Yeah, I think I may be stuck with this as well here. So I go in here, and it's so disorienting with that moving behind me. Fucking Christ. Oh, oh God, that is actually making me feel a bit uneasy. So uh, over here, we... God, that's just no good. See, it would be nice if the camera didn't zoom out. But let's go up here, go into the... How am I meant to do this then? It's a bit unfortunate that I'm now in a situation where I have a truck that is literally unrecoverable. Have I also got the key of it stuck here? Oh no, the Kirovets will pull itself free, no dramas. I mean, the best thing for me to do is hope that the sort of natural progression of the sort of water will eventually push this closer to shore to where I can actually do something with it. Because right now the Kirovets seem to be a bit stuck as well, but I can always twist this side to side because it's got the middle steering here. Oh no, it's not stuck, it's just pulled itself out. But, uh, gee, I don't know what else I can do here. The only thing will be to try and literally ram it, but I'm not willing to drive it that deep into the water. Can I change into the D here and see if there's anything I can do? Is it being moved closer to the shore? No, because the engine's broken. I've released a parking brake, and is it moving closer towards the shore? No, this one's not migrating at all. It's actually just stuck 16 metres from the shore, which is very annoying. And uh, with 100% damage on it, we can't actually use the winch. We can't even winch something to it, which is a bit weird. So that's basically fucked. We can't get the D out, unfortunately. Uh, I mean, I don't think there's literally anything I can do other than drive on the other side and ram it out, but I'm not willing to risk the Kirovets for that. That doesn't seem like anything it should be doing. So I reckon we have to just accept that the D is stuck in the water. Uh, yeah. Not what I'd hoped. I hoped it to be the saviour. It turned out very much to be Jesus Christ itself. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Goodbye for now.